everybody, welcome to the newest episode of The Bearded Gamer Show. Now as always, I'm your host, The Bearded Gamer, Chris Arnone. Just do want to plug my friends at Fresh Bait Tees who provide me with this little uh, wardrobe piece here. You go check them out on Facebook, Fresh Baked Tees. They got this and all kinds of other cool nerdy shirts to look at. You know what I haven't done in a while? How about some comic books? That's right, let's get back on track and bring back the pull list. So it's time again tomorrow. Well, by the time you see this, it'll be today is new comic book day. So that means go down, find your local comic book store, and check it out. Check out these four books, and of course, talk to your local comic book guru and find out what other cool things are coming out this week. Now, first up recommendation is Alabaster Wolves, number one. There's a colon in there. That's why I give it a little pause. Uh, but now some of you may have been following the uh, Dancy Flammarion series. They do these little series, and it's, it's this young gal who uh, suddenly she's charged with killing monsters with her guardian angel. Basically, heaven has put her in charge of this. And uh, so she has to go out and do this. Well, in this one called Wolves, she's going to South Carolina, and she's hunting down, you guessed it, wolves or werewolves. Uh, now, I really enjoy this series. It seems they're going to be doing sort of a, a series of mini, sort of like Hellboy used to do. Uh, but because, it, I mean, it's just fantastic writing. It's a very sound premise. It's sort of a Buffy with a twist kind of thing. Uh, but then especially this new one has this sort of southern charm about it. Now, there's some recent fiction that's been doing really well with this, like True Blood or Justified on television. And you can definitely feel that influence in there. And, and just the way they capture that in this you know, South Carolina community, it's, it's just a really phenomenal book. Definitely, definitely go check out Alabaster Wolves, number one. And hey, nice thing, it's a miniseries. So you can pick it up and then five issues, hey, it's done. If you like it, you go into the next mini. Hopefully they keep going with them. All right, number two, the Dark Phoenix Saga trade paperback. Now, this is a new printing. This is by no means a new book. It's, you know, about 30 years old at this point. But this, this book, I mean, it had such a lasting impact. They are still dealing with the fallout from the Dark Phoenix Saga, you know, now in comics. And this is the, you know, where Jean Grey's sort of evil, omnipotent alter ego of the Dark Phoenix first emerged, and also the first time she died. I mean, th this story was retold very well in the 1990s X-Men cartoon, and it was retold really, really badly in X-Men 3. So, it, but it still, that just shows how powerful and how great a story it really was. Now, this new release trade paperback is going to be a, a trade paperback version of the deluxe version, so it's going to have some extra bonus stuff in it. It's going to have uh, Phoenix, the Untold Story, uh, classic X-Men, uh, excerpt from four, number 43 there, Bizarre Adventures, and a What If, all based around Phoenix, and it's 25 bucks. So, you know, if you've never read it, first I'd be shocked. I mean, it's the Dark Phoenix saga. Uh, but, you know, this is definitely your chance to go and pick it up, or if you have read it and you don't own it, this is the one to buy. If you do own all those issues, well, by God, go buy this one. Stop reading those. Don't touch them. Put them in, you know, bag and board and put them away. They're, they're amazing. They're wonderful things. Don't, don't, don't expose those to air and finger oil things. No, go buy this one. Use it instead. All right, so my next recommendation is called The Secret Number One. Now, this is not to be confused with that horrible, horrible book that was out a few years ago. No, 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 no. <laughs> Now, this book is uh, by Jonathan Hickman. Now, he's been over at Marvel for a while doing some really good work on, like, Secret Warrior. But I'll tell you what, he's so much better working on his own books. I mean, you're talking uh, some great stuff, like his currently he's working on Man the Manhattan Projects. He's also done a Red Mask from Mars. Just great, great work, all of his own stuff. It's just so much better, and this is no exception. It's this sort of espionage thriller thing. It looks really, really cool. Brilliant artwork on it. It's just a really cool book, and I highly recommend you go and check this one out. The Secret, number one, it's going to be an ongoing. Number one, though, of course, great time to go in and start off on the series. If you're new to Hickman, man, this is a good place to jump on and check him out. All right, my final recommendation, I'm going to probably butcher this because it's a Yiddish word, but it's Unterzaken, okay? I'm, I'm sorry if you speak Yiddish and I messed it up. I don't speak Yiddish, but I tried. Now, this is a long-awaited return of Leela Corman to comics, uh, sort of. It's a graphic novel. Uh, this was originally serialized in the foreword. Now, it's about these twin Jewish sisters growing up in the early 1900s on the Lower East Side of Manhattan. And it's, it's really about their struggles growing up and how these struggles and incidents that occur in their young lives echo 
throughout their adult lives. Uh, it's just a, it's a really great story. To me, it's sort of equal parts triumph and tragedy, and it's just all heart, just tons and tons of heart. It's a fantastic story. Uh, Corman ha- has never done wrong by me, just some wonderful, wonderful storytelling. Uh, it's, it's a good art style. It definitely fits the style of the piece, and it just works really, really well. All right, that's the last of my recommendations for the pull list. Once again, as always, Wednesday, go to your local comic book store. Give them your patronage. This is an art form that needs your help and needs your money. And so if you can spare a few bucks to pick up a new book this week, go to your local comic book store and do it. Now, how about a little comic book news before we finish up the pull list? Well, it's been uh, sort of rumored, it's in talks, uh, that Ben Kingsley may be appearing in the next Iron Man movie. He's in talks to be in the movie as some sort of a villain. Now, they have said pretty definitively he will not be Mandarin. So if Mandarin is indeed the big baddie, it won't be Ben Kingsley, he'll be some other villain. Now, whether that means it's going to be a building that they'll bu- a villain that they'll build up for Iron Man 4, maybe they'll go into 4, or maybe build him up and then use him as the main villain in, I don't know, Avengers 2 or something. It's hard to say. I mean, Kingsley can be a fairly big name a- actor. He's done some kind of crap stuff, but then he was Gandhi, and that was huge. So, uh, you know, it's a, it's a good actor. Cool to see guys like him of that kind of caliber more and more of these guys are flocking over to the comic book movies because the quality level of these just keeps going up and up and up. So, uh, you know, looking forward to that and looking forward to seeing exactly who Ben Kingsley is going to play in this third Iron Man movie. All right, enough for comic books this week. We'll see you next time.